No, it's not our turn yet. Where are my men? They left a while ago. Why are we still here? I wish I could give you about ice cream cones. I'd give anything for an ice cream cone. Why am I still here? All I've been dreaming about is that ugly old volcano. What volcano? The one that I've been dreaming about. Well, that sounds scary. Not this one. This volcano is cold and dark and boring. It just sits there, doing nothing. That's bonkers. I know, right? Volcanoes are supposed to be exciting, gushing with lava and big fluffy puffs of smoke. No, I mean I've been having the same dream. You sure it wasn't about ice cream? Not just now. Recently. More frequently, in fact. You pull on my leg, Captain Fox. No, ma'am. Bonkers. I guess this is really almost over, huh? I guess so. Are you gonna miss it here? Why, are you? Oh yes, Captain Fox, very much. Not me. I'm supposed to be out there fighting a war, not stuck here. Your war stories never sounded like much fun to me. Not supposed to be fun, Rose. It's war. And besides, flying is all I was ever good at. Can't you have fun flying without the fighting? Huh? I think it'd be wonderfully fun to fly like a bird. I'd fly everywhere. Over the biggest mountains, across every ocean. Plus, I'd be able to sleep in the tallest trees. There was no nesting in trees, Rose. I couldn't just fly anywhere I wanted to. I was flying missions, war missions, and a plane, Uncle Sam's plane. You got it? I flew in, I flew out, and that's it. Can't you ask your uncle if you can fly his plane just for fun? <laughs> Maybe I should. Are you gonna go back to flying in the war then? I figure the war's been long over, Rose. I'm just hoping we won. How do they decide who wins? Well, you fight until one side gets tired of fighting and just gives up. I'll never understand grown-ups. Yeah, me neither. I guess the first thing I'll have to do is help you find your folks. Oh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm sure your mom and dad will be tickled to death to see you. I doubt that, Captain Fox. Oh, horse feathers. Why would you say something like that? My mom and pa were always too busy for me and my little brother. I was pretty much raising Jake all by myself. Well, I'm sure they've been missing you something fierce. Jake, maybe. Me and him did everything together. I used to take him tadpole hunting at the pond. He didn't like handling them too much, but those little fellas don't bother me none. In fact, that's what me and him were doing and it happened. Poor Jake. I promised Ma I wouldn't ever leave him alone. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he's fine. Ma's gonna take a switch to me for that for sure. Maybe. I wonder if Jake misses me. I was kind of mean to him sometimes, being bigger than him at all. For his sixth birthday, Ma got him a baseball and a glove. I was so jealous of that. I never got a glove, and I was the only one on the farm to play with. I mean, who else was he gonna throw and catch with? The cow? Valid point. One day I got so mad at Jake because he left Patricia out in the cornfield and Mr. Weaver's Thrasher gobbled her up. Patricia? My dolly, remember? Oh, right. 
So that night, I snuck outside with Jake Smith and dropped it down the pit latrine. You little dickens. Gotta switch for that, too. Deservedly so. I just wish I could stay here forever. I wish you'd stop saying that. But I'm not ready to go. At least to get to see your wife. It's been a long time, Rose. Probably too long for her. She probably moved on after getting that letter rubber stamped by Truman telling her I'd never be coming home. What do you mean? With all the ugliness I've seen out there, I was looking forward to feeling loved again, you know? Having someone there that depended on you, as well as being depended on. I'm not sure if I'll ever have that feeling again. But what about all the wondrous things we've seen up here? It sure beats what's waiting for me out there. Look, you're gonna see a lot more things. Wondrous things and not so wonderful things. But you'll learn to follow your heart to find what's truly important. Like your family, like your little brother. I'm sorry, Rose, don't cry. But what if something bad did happen to Jake? He depended on me. Oh, Rose, I bet you a nickel he's fine. But he may just need you now more than ever. You think so? I do. And you may need him every now and again, too. But what if he remembers what I did to his baseball glove? I know I would. I hope not. He would probably lick me in a fight these days. I don't know about that, Rose. You'll always be his big sister. You want to know something? What's that? You're pretty nice. For an adult. Why, thank you, Rose. You just gotta loosen up a bit. Is that so? You used to be a kid, Captain Fox. You probably just forgot. for us. I think you're right. She's gonna be out there. I can feel it. Your mother? Your wife. I'm thinking you're leaving some people behind down there that need you. You're gonna miss them, you know. 